What's going on guys? This is David here. In today's video, I'm going to finally show you how to jailbreak your iOS 11.0 through 11.1.2 device using the final version of Electra. Alright guys, so if you go down below in the description, you will see coolstar.org slash Electra. This is the website to go and get version 1.0 and 1.0.1. .1. Actually, while I was recording this video, I noticed it was a fix for some false positives where Electra would think Tupanga was installed when only Libre iOS was. So Electra actually has been around for a little while. There was a couple beta versions and a couple of RC versions, release candidate versions got leaked. If you use those RC versions, well, you probably have to do some things manually. But let's go into the important information regarding this jailbreak. An APFS snapshot is created of Slash, so you may revert it at a later date if needed. It is recommended to use Future Restore if you have blobs before running Electra to ensure the best possible installation. The big thing, which is Cydia, is now included and OpenSSH is running on port 22. Substitute, tweak loader, and substrate compatibility layer available from Electra repo. Many packages need to be updated for both Electra and iOS 11, so make sure that they're updated before installing as they may not work yet. Down below in the description, I have a compatibility um, sheet. Basically, our jailbreak compiled a bunch of tweaks that are compatible, a bunch of tweaks that aren't compatible. If you look on that compatibility sheet, you'll be able to see what tweaks work right now, what tweaks don't. And, you know, obviously there's various different tweaks that won't work just simply because this is a brand new jailbreak. In addition to that, Rocket Bootstrap 1.0.6 or higher is required for use on iOS 11. Many apps, launch Damien's, and installation binaries are broken as they require entitlements to be added. So now, with all of that out of the way, without further ado, all that's left to be done is to obviously download the IPA. Once you do that, the next step that you're going to have to do is go over to the Cydia Impactor website. And I didn't do it in this video, but this goes without saying, if you want to use Cydia Impactor with an Apple ID that you do not already have set up, an Apple ID, a throwaway Apple ID, whatever you want. If you want to actually do that, then I will be providing a link in the description for that. But essentially, all you need to do is just download the IPA off of Electra's website. And now all we need to do is just open up City Impactor. And once we do that, you will see that there's a black screen. Just plug in your device. Also, real quick, I wanted to show you guys, if I go to Settings, General, and About, you guys are going to see that I am on iOS 11.1.2. You need to have a device on iOS 11.0 through 11.1.2, so 11.1.x, to be able to utilize this jailbreak. Now, obviously, all that's left to do is just to plug in the device through the computer and then drag the IPA over the Cydia Impactor window. Once we do that, it'll ask for our Apple ID, username, and password. So this is where we would input that information. Obviously, you can input the throwaway account if you decided to make one. If not, you can input your regular Apple ID. And once you do that and you press OK, then it will go ahead and it will start the process of installing on your device. So once it installs, you'll see the Electra icon on your home screen. Then what you're going to have to do is go to Settings General, Profile and Device Management, and then Trust the Profile. And once you go ahead and trust the profile, then you can actually open up the Electra app. We don't need our computer anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone from my computer, and then we can proceed with the jailbreak. So now we're going to open up the Electra app, and now it says jailbreak. There's a button to jailbreak, and then there's also a button that has tweaks on and off. Not really sure if you press jailbreak with the tweaks uh, off, what that would do, but there's also an info button at the bottom, and it gives you um, basically credits of what like this jailbreak includes. Um, you know who made this jailbreak? So obviously Coolstar, and obviously everybody else that contributed and it lists those different things. So we're going to go ahead and tap on jailbreak. It says, please wait. And now it says APFS snapshot created. An APFS snapshot has been successfully created. 
you may be able to use semi restore to restore your phone to this snapshot in the future so we can go ahead and press continue jailbreak so we're going to do that now it says installing Cydia and this is actually the longest process of this jailbreak it's just going through and installing Cydia and all of the necessary files and hopefully our device reboots and hopefully we also see Cydia on our home screen as well So we're back at our lock screen and I'm going to unlock, swipe over, and there is Cydia on iOS 11. We can tap on it, it opens. It's not this, you know, whole library iOS or Tupanga thing where like Cydia half works and it like doesn't actually work. This is a legitimate like working actual version of Cydia for iOS 11. This is actually really exciting. Here in the list of sources you guys can see um, cool stars, uh, Electra Repo is there and that has a couple of dependencies, I guess you could call it, for this jailbreak, things that basically, um, you know, substitute and things that would make tweaks work um, for this specific jailbreak and stuff like that. Interestingly enough though, because Sark has yet to update Substrate for iOS 11, we are using Substitute as a substitute for Substrate. Essentially, it's just like Substrate, it hooks into all of the tweaks and makes all the tweaks work except this actually works for iOS 11. So here I am installing Barrel, which is actually a tweak that I thought was compatible, but turns out isn't. You guys can see here that I got basically Substitute's version of Safe Mode just because it wasn't working for iOS 11 yet. So now I'm gonna install Blurry Launch, which actually is compatible with this jailbreak, and then I'm gonna show you that it actually does work. So here it is in action. You guys can see it does work. So certain tweaks are compatible right now, certain tweaks are as the jailbreak is out for more time. Obviously developers will update their tweaks to support this jailbreak. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace. It's over. The jailbreak drought is over. <sighs>